The Chalcolithic age was an era of transition between the stone tool using farmers of the Neolithic and metal obsessed civilization of the Bronze Age. The term Chalcolithic is a combination of two words Chalco plus Lithic was derived from the Greek words Kalkos plus Lithos which means copper and stone or copper age. It also known as the Enneolithic or Enneolithic. The Chalcolithic age is marked by the use of copper as it was the first metal used by men. This age is marked as transition from the individual usage of tools to the combined usage of copper and stone tools. The Chalcolithic economy based on hunting, fishing and subsistence agriculture. Features of the Chalcolithic age both karif and rabi crops were cultivated. Barley was the main crop. Cotton was produced first time in this period. Jhum cultivation was practiced. The first village communities in peninsular India was found. First time, fortified settlements were built. Example, sites of Inamgon, Nagada and Daimabad. The people of the Chalcolithic phase used the black and red pottery and OCP or ochre colored pottery. Religious beliefs of Chalcolithic age. The people of Chalcolithic age worshipped mother goddesses and bull. The Chalcolithic people worshipped fire as fire altars have been found during the course of excavations. Two figurines from Inamgon belonging to the Jove culture had been identified as Proto Ganesh. Malwa and Jove people believed in life after the death as the occurrence of pots and other funerary objects are found along with the burials. The trade and commerce during the Chalcolithic age, the Chalcolithic communities traded and exchanged with the people of other contemporary communities. Wheeled bullock cart was used for long distance trade along with the river transport. Aha people had trade relation with the people of Malwa and Gujarat as there was a supply of copper tools and other materials. Gold and ivory may have come from Teklakota in Karnataka to Jove people. Jove people involved in pottery trade. The most important Chalcolithic sites are Nevasa, Daimabad and Inabgon in Maharashtra. Banis or Ahar in Rajasthan, Chota Nagpur Plateau in Bihar or Jharkhand, Kaida, Malwa, Iram in Madhya Pradesh, and Brahmagiri in Karnataka. The Chalcolithic cultures were Ahar culture. It spanned around 2800 to 1500 BC. Ground crops are ragi, rice, gram, lentil. Bajira and Kulti, where features of Ahar culture are white designed black and red wear. Sites of Ahar culture are Ahar, Gilgun, Balahal in Rajasthan. Kaida culture, it spanned around 2450 to 700 BC. The ground crops of Kaida culture are rice, ragi, gram, jowar, lentil, kulte, wear features of Kaida culture, chocolate colored slipped wear, red painted buff wear. Sites of Kaida culture are Chambal and its tributaries in Madhya Pradesh. Malwa culture, it spanned around 1900 to 1400. BC. Ground crops are wheat and barley, where features of Malwa culture are the Malwa where is cross and fabric with thick buff surface. The sites of Malwa culture are Narmada and its tributaries Navdatoli, Iran, Nagada in Madhya Pradesh. The Savalda culture, it spanned around 2300 to 2000 BC 
and the remains of the Savalda culture found in Durya in Maharashtra. The Jove culture, it spanned around 1500 to 900 BC. And the grown crops of Jove culture are rice, ragi, gram, jar, bajra, lentil and kulti. Where features of Jove culture are painted black on red with matte surface dishes on stand, steamed cups, jars and basins etc. And the remains of the Jorve culture found in Maharashtra, Prakash, Daimabad and Inabgon. The Prabhas culture, it spanned around 2000 to 1400 BC. And where feature of Prabhas culture are lustrous red ware and the Rangpur culture, it spanned around 1700 to 1400 BC. And where feature of Rangpur culture are lustrous red ware. And the remains of the Rangpur culture found in Gyal and Kaloba river in Gujarat. The most important reasons for the decline of this culture are decline in rainfall from about 1200 BC and agitation of epidemics. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. If you like this video then please do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button for the latest updates. We will meet very soon with another interesting video. Till then it's me signing off the Archivist.